Hello everybody, we're back with another episode of CB's World. I'm CB. And I'm Stuart. And this time, we're going to be reacting to a skit about a comedian going to a job interview that Stuart and I and Lenny were in it too. Yeah? And what from my heart sounds like it's going to be a hilarious one that we just did. <laughs> Definitely. So, in this skit, this comedian that was going to go and get a job made up some silly ass middle name, but his first and last names are true. He also made up some silly ass lies about his experience, and it was a little off text during the interview. Damn, that doesn't sound like it's going to end very well. Well, surprisingly, the interview got a little angry, but I appreciated Ryan's willingness and sense of humor. Really? Oh, I wouldn't want to be in his shoes. Yeah, but that let's not spoil the whole thing. So, we're just gonna roll it, the skid out and get started right away. I can't wait to see how it all plays. Today's the day I'm going to be working in an office. But I'm so nervous about doing the interview. Alright everybody, today seems to be a very important day for you guys to start seeing you over there. It is time for the interview to begin. Mr. Johnson will see you now. But I need to line up the lines so I can see who can go first and go last. I think it should go right there to all the way right, right there to the last chair. So this bald guy right there is the first one up. I'm a bald guy, but at least I don't have to worry about bad hair days if I get the job to come here every day for work. People who have very, very long hair will be more likely to have a bad hair day every day. Okay, okay, enough jokes. You're holding the line if you keep making jokes. I am coming to the job interview, and I'm prepared to pretend that I know what I'm doing for, for a paycheck. What the hell? Is this some kind of negativity that he's going to do? This is kind of disrespect for the concept of the worker and it takes offense of an idea of he pretending to know what they're doing for our paychecks. I'm so irritated, implied by the joke, not appreciated. This, this is not, I, I do not support this humor. Oh god, I'm so goddamn nervous about this job. Come on, come on, you can do this. Just be confident. And if you can't be confident, just pretend to be confident. No one will know the difference. It's all the way to the top of the interview door. Well, here goes nothing. Let's hope this interview kicks ass. Well, are you just going to stand here all day, or have a seat so we can get your interview started? Oh, oh, yeah, right. I'm so sorry about this. I'm just so nervous. I'm so nervous that I, like, I'm in the middle of the earthquake that I can't stop shaking. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> it's fine, but take a deep breath and try to relax. We're here to get to know you and your qualifications, not to make you feel uncomfortable. Okay, let's do this. Alright, let's sit this down right there. And here we go. All comfortable and relaxed. Alright, tell me your full name. Alright, let me give you my real name. My name is Ryan Doofenshmirtz Dinkleberry. Ryan Doofenshmirtz Dinkleberry. What a delightfully ridiculous name. Thank you. It's the name that's hard to forget. But I'm still waiting for someone to come up with a nickname that sticks. Maybe you have some ideas. Well, let's see. How about Dinkle, for short? Or maybe just Ryan D, for simplicity's sake. And I don't know if Dinkle is the vibe that I'm going for, but I'll keep it in mind. Ryan D works just fine too. I learned to embrace the uniqueness of my name through... It makes a great conversation starter, and it definitely helps me stand out in a crowd. 
Absolutely, having a memorable name can be a great asset in certain fields. Let's move on from the name part. Tell me what is your date of birth? Okay, I was born in the summertime. The summer of 92. June 12, 1992. I have just one question about your middle name. It's so familiar. Did you get that name from Phineas and Ferb? Cause that show didn't exist when you were born. <laughs> oh, you got me. I'm a big fan of Phineas and Ferb, and I just couldn't resist adding different spur to my name. It's not my real middle name, but it's definitely a conversation starter. And who knows, maybe I'll become a real-life counterpart of the cartoon character one day. Ryan, while it's good to have a sense of humor, lying in a professional setting is not a good look. It's important to be truthful and honest, even if it means admitting to a little embellishment in your name. Let's focus on the interview questions and leave the jokes aside for now. Well, I guess I have changed my name to Ryan Honest Pants Dingleberry. But seriously, you're absolutely right. Honesty is always the best policy, and make sure to keep that mind going forward. Now let's get back to the interview questions before I stop coming up with more silly names. I appreciate your willingness to take my feedback seriously, Ryan. However, I need to emphasize that this is a professional setting, and we need to maintain a certain level of decorum. We're here to talk about your qualifications and experience for this position, not to come up with silly names. Let's move on and focus on the matter at hand, please. Of course, I'm sorry if I came across as unprofessional. Sometimes I let my sense of humor to get the best of me. But don't worry, I'm taking this interview very seriously. And I'm excited to talk more about my qualifications and experiences. Let's get back to the track and I'll show you why I'm the right fit of this position. No more silly names, I promise. Thank you for understanding, Brian. I appreciate your enthusiasm and willingness to move forward. We're excited to learn more about you, so let's get started. Thank you. I appreciate the chance to prove myself. And don't worry, I'll try to keep the jokes to a minimum, unless you're looking for a communion for the role. But all in the seriousness, I'm ready to tackle these interview questions and I'll show you why I'm the perfect fit for this position. Let's do this. Great, let's start with your experience. Can you tell me more about your background and how it relates to this position? Experience? Oh boy, I do have an experience. Let me tell you, I once spent the whole summer trying to build a giant robot to take over the world. But it didn't quite work, huh? But hey, I learned a lot about engineering problem solving. And there was the time that I tried to make a machine that returns people closed into spaghetti. Spaghetti. But that's... Possible, possibly not irrelevant to this position. Anyways, I think my background in inventing and creating crazy contractions could definitely come in handy here. Plus, I have an excellent taste in fedoras, which has count of something, right? Well, Ryan, while I can appreciate your inventive spirit, I'm not sure that building a giant robot or a spaghetti making machine is particularly relevant to the position we're hiring for. We're looking for someone with experience in X, Y, and Z, and who can bring those skills to the table to help us achieve our goals. So, can you tell me a bit more about your experience in those areas, and how you think it could benefit our team? Oh, I get it. You're looking for someone that I can actually build for something that works, not just something that X Q. Well, don't worry, I can do that too, in all seriousness. I do have an experience of X and Y, and and I think those skills could definitely come in handy of this position. For example, I worked on projects that require problem solving, attention, details, and teamwork, which all I know are all important qualities for this role. And as for Z, while I don't have the direct experience for it, I'm a quick learner and I'm always up for the challenge. And I could really bring a fresh experience to the team and help drive innovation and creativity. Plus, I make a mean cup of coffee and everybody knows that's a, a vital skills in any workplace. 
But enough about my skills, let's talk about what's really important here. Do you guys have a ping pong table in the break room? Because I am a, a pro at ping pong player and I don't take losses lightly. In fact, if you hire me, I'll even bring my lucky paddle. Just kidding. But seriously, do you think I'll be a great additional to the team and I'm excited about the opportunity to contribute to your company's success? Brian, I appreciate your enthusiasm for ping pong, but let's focus on the matter at hand. We're looking for someone with specific skills and experience that can help us achieve our goals as a company. It's not what we're looking for in a candidate. So, can we please get back on track and discuss your qualifications for the position? Oh, right. Sorry about that. Sometimes my love for ping pong gets the best of me. But I understand with the importance of the finding the right fit for the job. As I mentioned earlier, I have experience with X and Y, which I think it will be valuable for this position. I'm also a creative problem solver and a team player, which I believe are important qualities for any workplace. And while I may not have direct experience with Z, I'm eager to learn about, I'm confident in my ability to adapt new challenges. So let's get back discussing how I can contribute your company's success. Thank you for refocusing on the matter at hand, Ryan. It's important to stay on track during an interview so we can make the best use of our time. Now, can you please give me some specific examples of how your experience with X and Y can benefit our company? And can you also tell me more about how you approach problem solving and working in a team? Absolutely! I'll be happy to talk about my experience with X and Y. X is actually one of my favorite letters in the alphabet. And Y, le well, let's just say, why not? But all in seriousness, when it comes to X, I had a lot of experience of utilizing its principle to successfully achieve goals and solve problems. And with Y, I found that it's really all about keeping an open mind while being willing to try new things. As for problem solving and teamwork, I believe the communication and collaboration are the key. I always make sure to keep my team in a loop and work together to find the best solutions. Brian, while I appreciate your attempt to inject humor into the conversation, it's important to maintain a professional tone during an interview. I'd need to hear specific examples of how your experience with X and Y can benefit our company. Can you please give me concrete examples of your past successes with these skills? Well, first of all, thank you for appreciating my sense of humor. I'll do the best to run in and get down to business. As for my experience with X and Y, I have the opportunity to work on a number of projects that have required me to use those skills. And I had some great success along the way. For example, when I was working on Project X, I was able to streamline the process and reduce the, uh, the time that I took, completed by 50%. And when the time comes to Y, I was able to come up with a new approach that increased our ethnicity by 25%. These are just couples of examples, but I'm confident that my experience with X and Y can bring a real value to your goddamn company. What the hell is taking so long? This guy, this bold guy is holding up the line. I got to be here somewhere, so I need to wrap up this interview as efficiently and effectively as possible while still making a strong impression and showing my sh skills and experiences. I should stay focused and engaged throughout the process as asking any, any necessary questions, providing thoughtful answers to show that I might be the right fit for the role. Wow, that's impressive, Brian. You seem to have a lot of experience in those areas. Can you tell me more about a specific challenge you faced and how you overcame it? Absolutely. There was a time that I was working on a project that required me to use both X and Y skills. But there was a lot of resistance from the team members who were used to doing things in a certain way. So I decided to use my humor to break up the ice and get everyone on the board with the new approach. I came up with a silly song about the benefits of the new process and performing in our next team meeting. 
It might sound silly, but it really worked. The team started to see the benefits of the new approach and were able to successfully implement it. That's creative thinking, Brian. It's great to see that you can bring your sense of humor into your work and still achieve success. Speaking of your sense of humor, how do you handle stressful situations in the workplace? Well, I believe the laugher is the best medicine. Whenever things get tense or stressful, I try to lay up the mood with a joke or a funny story. It helps to erase the tension and bring people together. Of course, I also make sure to stay focused on tasks at hand and work collaboratively with my team to find solutions to any problem that arise. It's clear that you have a unique approach to problem solving, Brian. Do you have any questions for me? Yes, actually. I was wondering if you could tell me more about the company's culture and how employees are encouraged to express their creativity and unique ideas. That's a great question, Brian. We value creativity and innovation here, and we encourage our employees to bring their ideas to the table. We have regular brainstorming sessions and welcome feedback from our team members. We believe that a diverse and inclusive workplace leads to better results in a more positive work environment. That's really great to hear. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me today. Thank you for coming in, Ryan. We'll be in touch soon regarding the next steps. Have a great day. Hey, Will. Thank you for taking my time. Ryan Duffixberg's Dinkleberry's hilarious hanks took over the workplace on day one. All right, Ryan Duffixberg Dinkleberry. You can do this. You can make your first day a great funny-ass day. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know you were right there. <laughs> no worries, man. I had worse things spilled on me before. <laughs> I hope not on your first day. Nah, that was a long time ago. You must be the new guy. Ryan, right? Ryan Doofusberg Dinkleberry? I can read the name tag right there. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's me. Hi there, Ryan Doofexpert Dinkleberry. I'm Jake McFancy Pants. Welcome to the team. We're so glad that you're here. Or I should say, Jake from Steak Farm. <laughs> wow, that was a good one right there, Dinkleberry. Thanks, Jake. It's great to meet you. Uh, hey, don't worry. We're pretty a, ch a chill bunch here. Just be yourself and have fun. Mmm, that's good to hear. I definitely plan on bringing some fun to the workplace. <laughs> I can tell that you're going to fit right in. Because your sense of humor is just like mine. That's great to hear. I always appreciate a good sense of humor. Great. Now follow me for y because I'm going to show you your new office. Welcome to your new dungeon. I mean office. You now have a windowless office. Congratulations. You are all good to get started that you're supposed to start on in your new office. Ooh, is this the part where I pretend to know what I'm doing? <laughs> That's the spirit. I'm serious. I'm not quite sure what am I supposed to be doing. Don't worry about it. We'll give you some training and you'll be a pro in no time. That's good to hear because I don't want to mess up on my first day. You won't mess up. And even you do, we'll just blame it on the new guy. <laughs> That's not reassuring, Jake. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Ryan. We're a team and we're here to support each other. Thanks, Jake. That makes me feel better. Anytime, buddy. And if you need a break, just come to my office and we will watch comedy videos together. We'll laugh all the time with each other. <laughs> I think I'm going to like it here. I knew you would. Now, let's get started on your trading. 
And remember, fake it until you make it. Got it. Okay, let's dive in and get started. Let's see what can we accomplish today. Hello. Hey, Ryan. It's your boss here. Just wanted to check in and see how your first day is going. Um, oh, hi. Yeah, everything's going okay so far. Just okay. You haven't made any jokes or pranks yet. Well, Jake, my new friend, and I were talking and making jokes together, and he showed me my new office. And if I didn't make any jokes today, I don't want to get fired on my first day. <laughs> don't worry about that. We encourage creativity and humor here. Just don't cross any lines, okay? Got it. Thanks for the reassurance. But on a serious note, we're excited to have you on board. You have a unique skill set that we think will be valuable to the team. Just remember to stay focused on the work, and we'll have some fun along the way. Sounds like a plan. Hey guys, did you hear about the new restaurant called Karma? There's no menu, you just get what you deserve. I heard the service is great, but the dishes are a bit hard to swallow. That's a good one. Oh, did you know that diarrhea is a, a hereditary? Yeah, it ruins in your jeans. <laughs> hey, you guys want to see something really funny? I put googly eyes on my boss's picture frame. And all through it, it now has googly eyes. He still thinks his version with glasses is better than mine. <laughs> oh, oh my god, that's hilarious. I can't believe he hasn't noticed the googly eyes yet. You're so creative, Ryan. Maybe you should start selling your own picture frames with googly eyes. And guys, I also changed the office playlist to funny sounds. It's from Amoeb. Oh, just wait for it. It's gonna play any any second right now. This is going to be a great place to work at. Yeah, bravo, bravo, bravo. Ryan Doofixburg Dingleberry is such a great comedian to work at this job. Yeah, and I love how he's able to balance his humor with his professionalism. It's no wonder he got the job. Mmm, definitely. That skin was so great and funny. That guy, Ryan Doofusberg Dingleberry, kicks ass. But anyways, that is all for tonight, everybody. Thanks for watching with us, guys. See you next time on CB's World. Bruh.